Spotlight on Baltimore. Vice President Mike Pence will make his case for another term, taking the stage at Fort McHenry. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. This will be the main speech at the convention tonight. Second Lady Karen Pence will also address the country. Already, some protesters are gathering, and security is very tight. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Fort McHenry with what we expect to hear from the Vice President. Mike? Denise and Rick, security is so tight, we're about to be pushed back. People are not really allowed on this part of Fort Avenue, close this close to the gates of Fort McHenry. Now, we do expect a wide-ranging speech, and the vice president will talk about the coronavirus pandemic, the economy, and foreign relations. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, because Maryland and America need four more years of President Donald Trump. Vice President Mike Pence will be back in Baltimore for one of the most important speeches of his political career as he pushes for a second term for President Trump at the Republican National Convention. His choice of Fort McHenry to make that address has drawn criticism. The Coalition to Protect America's National Parks has called it inappropriate to use the fort for political gain. They released photos of a forklift they say damaged a brick walkway during the preparations. Critics claim the frequent use of federal facilities during the political convention violates the law. We want to separate politics from government. And that did not happen last night. It wasn't a blurring of the lines. It was an erasing of the line. During his first term, Pence made repeated visits to Baltimore. And touring the port. We're going to build that wall one way or another. To addressing immigration agents and visiting Fort McHenry. They stared down the invasion. The historic fort is a favorite backdrop of the administration, with the president speaking here on Memorial Day. I stand before you at this noble fortress of American liberty. But Mr. Trump has frequently criticized the city during his time in office, tweeting during a feud with the late Congressman Elijah Cummings that it was a dangerous and filthy rat and rodent infested mess. During his visit last year, protesters greeted the president with a giant inflatable rat in his likeness. Those people are living in hell in Baltimore. Baltimore has been in the spotlight for the Democrats as well, with now vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris choosing the city as her campaign headquarters during her presidential run. I feel a sense of responsibility to stand up and fight for the best of who we are. Now, one person who will not be in attendance tonight is Maryland's Republican governor, Larry Hogan. You can watch all of these speeches starting at 10 o'clock here on WJZ. For now, we're live at Fort McHenry. Mike Helgren, WJZ.